Hey guys, Coach Ryan here. Uh, just a, a quick story to know more about me. Um, I've got to tell you a little bit more about my dad. Big Vern Dupra. Uh, this is, it's hard to have been putting this video off, but it's a lesson and a story that needs to be told because my hockey dad, who I lost a couple years ago, um, tons, of, tons of great memories, especially this time of year. Here comes hockey season. So I think about all the tournaments and all the all the drives we had, right? And all the laughs we had and all the great families and friends we met through the hockey world. So um, sometimes it, it hits me hard this time of year and I still get choked up thinking about um, all, of, all of those good times and, and memories. It meant a lot to me, built me to, you know, who I am as a person. And um, he had this, this, this tag, line, like a hashtag, it should be on a coffee mug. It should be on a bumper sticker. It should be on a, on a T-shirt. He sat me down early, early on when I was really young, started playing. He said, son, because that's always how he always started his serious talk, son. And quote, unquote, they can't hit you if they can't catch you. And that was like gold to me. That, that resonated with me. That fed me my whole career. And then, then it turned to even more than that. It was an internal motivation, not just external, you know, it created this huge chip that just laid right there. My whole hockey career, always being the short guy out there, you know, getting chirped at. And uh, it just fueled me because I was like, I don't care how big you are. I don't care what team you're on. When I'm out there on the ice, I will find a way to beat you. And ultimately, what did I do? I used my natural talents, my God-given abilities right? Mix that in with turning my body into just a big giant muscle. I, I worked out like crazy. I never skipped leg day. I hit leg day so hard. I put in so much off ice, you know, I dare not come home and sit down because my legs would like buckle and I wouldn't be getting back up. And if you're a movie guy, right, it, it turned into my vision quest, if you will, right? That was my, um, that was, uh, let's, what's another old 80s movie, uh, Rad. That was my hell track. That, that was my focus and my end game. I'm going to be the fastest thing out there you've ever seen. And when I can't outskate you and I get trapped in a corner, or as my dad used to say, if you get stuck in a dark alley, sometimes you got to fight your way out. I was going to be the toughest pound for pound, nastiest thing out there on the ice. And that was my goal. And that is my goal for a lot of players that I work with from youth to even back when, um, back when I was working with the pro guys, you know, if you were six foot four, I would, I'd be looking up at him. I'd be like, you know, Forbes, you got to drop your hips. You got to get down here low because if I can get you low, I can use your long stride to be more efficient. And then you can just smoke somebody short like me. That's got to drop two, three strides to equal your one. And I met players where they are at. I still meet players today where they are at. Try to locate what are they good at, what are their strengths, and what are they not using. And if we can put foot speed and marry it with that powerful stride every time with great mechanics, we can turn you into a true master of speed. And that's what, that's what I was known for. That's what I hope for you. I hope that you don't ever use your size as a, as a crutch, but as a motivator. And if you are a big guy, I hope you use your size, right? Because I'm jealous and get efficient and strong and do less work to go further, right? You've seen those guys that spin their tires like Roadrunner out there and they don't really go anywhere on the ice. Get the power through to the stride, through your edges to the ice and really explode. But um, that's just a quick story uh, to remember my dad, Big Vern Dupra, uh, big personality. He always had to just listen for the big giant laugh and the group of people standing around the table because he's probably telling one of his jokes. And uh, I miss you. Uh, it's been hard without you. And I will never forget that lesson. And I hope if this resonated with you, drop a comment down below. You know, Big Vern rules, <laughs> hashtag Big Vern. Uh, just let me know if it, if it made sense or you, you got something out of this. And then uh, until next time.
like I always say, I hope you have a great one, and we'll see you. Thank you.